It shocks her to see me as I am, all grown up, alive, and moving away to college soon. Her hollow gaze scans me. She huffs and rolls her eyes as if I'm inconveniencing her bath time. Her head hits the wall as her twinkle toes pulse purple, blue, and white. She talks to me as if she's instructing me to deal with the consequences of what she's begun to do, cutting upwards, deepening my gash. Today we are here at Ships of the Sea Marine Museum to provide a voice and a place for all of our youth to showcase the programs that they've been working on for the full year. The more that there are spaces like this one where people from different walks of life can not only be in the same space, but can talk and get to know each other. I just feel like we understand each other better collectively. And I think we see that we are a lot more alike than we are different. To me, youth, they symbolize truth. As we get older, we kind of mold into what is socially acceptable and what feels okay. But with the youth, to me, they are a clear mirror to, they show us where we are, how we really feel, and if you know where you are, then you really know where you need to go. The reason why I want older people to like listen to my story is from my point of view. I can, I can finally break from my shell. I can finally break from my cocoon instead of just sitting in the house all day. Just they get up and show what I can do, be the best I can be. You know. I feel like I'm heard, and they hear, and un not just hear, they understand what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to get out. Most of my writings are about me and what I relate to. If I read you a poem, I want you to, you know, relate to it. I want you to feel the pain that I felt while writing the poem, basically. You could see it from my point of view. We have some great youth in this organization that participate, but not only that, that there are youth all over the city of Savannah that really just need to be listened to and they need to have a voice. Through that program for my daughter, what I've been able to see is that she's been able to um, express herself. There may be some things that she couldn't talk to me about, but she was able to write it. And to see her on stage uh, speaking without any problems and actually being eager to do so just makes my heart happy. So I'm very grateful for the program. Some of these kids don't feel comfortable to talk to who is at home, let alone a stranger. They like to hold things in. This program says, hi, this is your safe place. Join me, let's, let's have a conversation. And they go in openly. There's no reserve. It's like, okay, let me, let me see what this is about. And you don't get kids to do that easily unless they trust you. And they feel, and they feel that love and they feel that trust. So like how often do you give an ear to just ask a child, how was your day today? Or, what were you experiencing at school today? Because, you know, that's what we're really trying to do to make sure that kids have safe spaces and ears that can hear them and help to guide them. So that would be the biggest takeaway. It brings me great joy to be able to work in an organization and lead an organization that really is giving a voice to the youth. I think we all want our voices heard, but we don't always know how the best way to go about that. And I think that Deep Center really shows and really provides that place to learn how to give a voice to the youth.